In the previous video, we looked at working with date format. In this video, we're going to take a look at using our bind to add new records, reassigning combined results, and adding position and age attribute. If you're familiar with databases, you may already know how to perform an insert operation to append a new record to the dataset. Alternatively, you can use alter operation to add a new column, or attribute, into a table. In R, you can also perform insert and alter operations, but much more easily. We will introduce the rbind and cbind function in this recipe so that you can easily append a new record or new attribute to the current data set with R. We first see how to use the rbind function to add a new record to a data frame. As the employee's data set consists of six columns, we add a record with six values to the employee's data set using the rbind function. In the first column, employee number is in integer format. Thus, we don't have to wrap the input value with single quotes. For the first name and last name attributes, we can freely input any character string as a value because we already converted their type to character type. For the last gender attribute, which is in factor type, we can only input either M or F as a value. Now we can reassign the combined results of the data frame employees and new records back to employees. Let's run this code. Okay. In addition to adding a new record to a target data set, we can add a new variable with a cbind function. To add new variables, we can assign a variable with the default value while calling cbind. Here we use na as the default value for a new position variable. You can see the default value na in the output. We can also assign the calculated results from other columns as the value of the new variable. We compute each employee's age from the current data to their birthday. We use the dollar sign to assign the computed value to a new attribute, age. Besides using the dollar sign to assign a new variable, we can use the transform function to create age, position, and marital variables in the employee's dataset. On running this code, you can see the output over here. Great, so that marks the end of this video. In this video, we have looked at adding new records and new attributes. Cool. In the next video, we'll take a look at filtering data.